Okay, we're going to look at a song by a guy called Dick Dale. This is his song Miseraloo. I think that's how you say it. It was really famous because it was in a film called Pulp Fiction, which is really famous. Um, he is pretty pioneering because he used Eastern scales, um, but he did it in a kind of surf way. So he was part of the whole surfing thing in America in the 60s. Um, so he played surf music with like Eastern scales and loads of reverb and really heavy and loud. So what he was doing was quite unusual and it was also instrumental. So that was quite unusual as well. So he was kind of on a par with people like The Shadows and some of those other bands that were doing that kind of thing. But he was very different, really loud and really cool. Anyway, this um, this riff here, you can see, goes along. OK, which I'll play for you in a minute. Um, all these notes here are these kind of Middle Eastern notes. You know, they're kind of they all, some of them sound a bit strange together to us because our ears are used to hearing pop music and rock music. So putting these in a rock tune is quite unusual. Uh, this bit here, this bit here, by the way, is exactly the same order as that bit. The only difference is it's on the thin string rather than the thick string. So if you look there, the 12 and then the numbers there, that's on the thick string. And down here it's the same, 12 and then the numbers there, but it's on the thin string. So once you know this, this part, then you'll know that part as well. Sorry, I keep flitting around. I'm just showing you what's on the sheet. But you'll have the sheet in front of you, hopefully. So here we go. Here's the whole thing. You can see it. You've got low part. Oh, yeah. See this little thing here, this little uh, diagonal line? That is a slide. So what that means is you're going to play 12 and then let your finger kind of go down to the zero. And then you'll play from the zero doing this stuff here. I think that's the only time there's a slide. Let's have a quick check. Yeah, that's the only time. Oh, no, there's one there. Look. Oh, for that one on, on the high part there is one is there one on that one? Oh, there's there as well right so there's also one when you do that seven you'll play that seven and let it hang and then you'll slide down to the zero before you start it so same as here you'll play the seven let it hang for that long and then you're going to that zero there okay i'll play it for you now you can have a look at how it goes um yeah let's do that first and i'll tell you a bit more about how he plays it okay so hopefully you can see the guitar neck uh there's the first fret there 12th frets here. It will just give you an idea about how I'm moving around. So the first thing I'm going to do is play a 12. So you should see on your sheet that there's a 12 at the top. So we're going to play that and then we're just going to slide our hand back to that zero, okay? Like that. And just let that zero hang for a bit. And then we're going to start off with the riff. So we're going to go 1, 4, 5, 7. And then we're going to go 11, 8, 7. That's really hard to do that 11. So you can just see the dots here. That 11 there is really hard to do from that 8. Naturally, you want to go from 8 to 10 for some reason. I do anyway. So you have to kind of keep a little eye out for that 11 there. When you know the song off by heart, it'll be easier because you won't need to look at the tab. And then you can look at the fretboard. But anyway, do it slowly for now anyway. Uh, let's just do that bit again. So we're going to go from the 12. 0, 1, 4. See that little slide there from that seven that I let hang? Zero, one, four, five, seven, eight, eleven, eight, seven. So I repeated that part there. That was what we did a minute ago. Okay. And then it does this other part which goes. So that's eight, seven, eight, seven, five. And then it goes seven, five, seven. That's really Middle Eastern sort of scale sounding there, listen. And then it does seven, five, seven, four. Five, four, five, four, one, oh. And then it starts again. So I'll play the whole thing without stopping this time. So I'm going to do 12. I'll do it slowly though. Okay, 
so that's that. Now eventually, I'm not even sure I can do this. You need a plectrum actually, I'll try it without a plectrum. What he does, this is the bit that makes it surfy. What he does is as he's playing it, he does everything we just did, but he's doing this as he does it. And he just doesn't stop, he keeps that constant. So he's doing that, it's much easier with a plectrum. I must, I'll try it with a plectrum later. But you can practice that eventually, but the first thing you need to do is learn the order. Which is good anyway. Once you know that off by heart, then you can have a think about doing this. Don't even try doing that until you know exactly how to do the, uh, the main order. The high part is exactly the same, just on the thin string. So it's the same, you just go. Again, the high bit would be the high bit would be like this if he was doing that. Now, eventually, when you know this order really well, you could try playing along to me doing this. So I'll sing the tune you're going to play, and then you can play to the chord of E, and I'm going to take a chord of E and I'm going to move it up one place, which is kind of a mix of an F and an E. It's a weird chord. Again, this has kind of got that Middle Eastern feel about it. So this is an E. And I'm moving an E one forward, which normally would make it into an F, except I'm not putting in the root note of an F. So it's got an E root note, so it's kind of a bit weird, really. A bit Spanish E, a bit Middle Eastern. So if you were going to play along to this, you'd go, and then I'd come in. go to the fast bit I'll move up back to the so I'll keep doing that Closer together. same thing on the high part So for now, just have a go at trying to play the notes in the right order, really. That'll do for now. Uh, have a listen to the song. So it's Dick Dale, Miserable. I think that's how you pronounce it. Miserable. Check it out, because the more you get to know how the song goes, you'll have an idea about how you're supposed to make it sound. 
Um, just work your way through it. I, I've loved playing this one over the years. I've been doing this for about 20 years, this song, and I think it's really cool. And it's always, I always like coming back to it because it's a good test for me. It makes me have to work quite hard. So I think it's good for everyone to learn this song. Okay, so have a go. Let me know how you're getting on. And maybe I can give you some more tips um, in the next few weeks. Okay, see you in a bit.